SS and what we got we got the t-top area has rust in some spots like here it's not completely ate up but we're not gonna cut nothing out of well we're just gonna fix it with some fiberglass and we're gonna take you through the steps let me take you to the other side and show you what the other side looking like this side here is not as bad as the other side on this back section, but I could push my finger through it and it'll go through. But this front part here is the worst at all. So we finna tackle this. See, can we take care of it? First, we're gonna take the vacuum and vacuum up all these loose scales of rust. Get those out the way. Then we can start cleaning up the metal. Since all those loose scales up, we can see what we're working with a lot better now. Let me take you over here and show you what we're going to be using to clean it up with. To clean up the metal, we're going to be using these wire brush attachments. This one here attached to a drill, like I got here. I also got one that attached to a die grinder. And I think I'm going to use this one because it's more powerful than this drill. That's what the drill. Let me put this drill down and get the uh, die grinder. This is what it's looking like with the die grinder. See, it just knocked all that loose metal out right here. That's what I want. Just gotta finish it on up. This is what it's looking like after the die grinder with the wire brush. I'm gonna use a flap disc now to clean everything up. Let me take you over here and show it to you. Here's the flap disc, 60 grit. Look at the wire wheel that I ate it up. Finish with the flap disc. Now I do the final feather edging with the DA 80 grit, like I hit up in here. That's just a stain, that ain't no rust there. Then I feather edge this back here. Right now I'm just scuffing up everywhere where the paint good at. So when I start spraying the primer, it'll have something to burn to. It's just with me sitting on top. Now we'll take the vacuum and vacuum everything up. Then the blow holes and blow it off. Good to go. Got it cleaned up. Also, sanding this area here. I'm gonna go ahead and prime that once I start priming it. Now we 
finna pour some of this rust mort by Sam. Rust conversion. Got a chip brush. I'm gonna brush it on with the chip brush. Got a little bit in the cup. This here gonna remove and convert rust prior to applying body filler, primer, or top coat. It's gonna turn the surface black once it starts working. I'm gonna put probably three coats on here. I'm supposed to let it sit by 24 hours before you start top coating. Okay, I'm ready to move to the next step. As you can see, it turned all the rust black. Now I gotta build up all my eight throughs. And what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some fiberglass. Got some fiberglass mat. Some cloth here. Fiberglass resin. I'm just gonna cut out some pieces. I'm gonna try to put this on the back side so I have a little room on the front to put some fiberglass filler. I'm just gonna do it a step at a time because I ain't gonna be able to make this form with one piece of fiberglass. I just put this back side first and let it dry. Then I come and put the top, then I do the lower part. See what I did? I just reached from the back side and put some fiberglass here. So when I put the filler, I have something to, I have a backing. Let me take it to the other side and show you that. I'm gonna have to do it probably in three steps, maybe four. See, I put the fiberglass on the back side of that lip there. I didn't want to put it on the front because I want to kind of build it up with fiberglass filler so it'll be sturdier. So once that dry, I'm gonna come back and do another piece along the top, then probably this piece. And on this here, I just stuffed some, bought some fiberglass up and stuffed it in there. Once it dry, I trim it out, then I have a good backing. See, I'm building up a little at a time. I got this bottom piece in now. And this paper is just wax paper. I'll pull it out once it dry because fiberglass where that resin don't stick to wax paper. And I can easily pull it out. Then I'll do this top section. Maybe a piece there. Got it built up now. Now I got my shape. I'll take some fiberglass filler. And wipe it on all my areas. Got my onion board, my mixing board. Then I shape it on up from there. I'm also going to be filling up my pits up in here with five glass filler. Like this area here. Let me show you what it's looking like after the fiberglass filler on all four corners. I was trying to build this up, even up with this lip. I'm just going to take my, probably get some Ada grit and start shaping it up. And then I guess we'll form this lip back on this side. The other side, I'm going to have to form it a little bit from here over. But we're going to take some 80 grit and shape everything up.
just knock my areas down with Ada Grit. I still got to go back and feel the imperfections with filler. But now I'm just working on my lip, just using cardboard. As you can see, I got a strip cut out right here. I just try to get that same shape up in there. Then I'm going to go back and get some masking tape and wrap this cardboard in masking tape. Wrapped it in masking tape. Still sit down up in there. Now I'll take some fiberglass cloth. Some old cloth, but it'll work. It's a lot better working with this instead of the fiberglass mat because that fiberglass get everywhere with that. I just want something to make me lip. And I'm going to wrap some around this here. It don't have to be completely around it, but I'm going to go back and cut it once it harden up. I just really need that much on the top. And I'm going to keep the bottom on just for strength. See, I got the cloth just shoved off of me now. And I'm going to put this in. You probably get where I'm going now. Then I'm going to wrap this around and tape it off so it won't move. I just took a razor blade and just trimmed that part off. So it'll sit down in there like that. Now I'm going to mix up some fiberglass resin and I'm going to soak this lower part. Once I finish coating this bottom half here, I'm gonna lay my cloth back on top of it. And then I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put some resin on top of the cloth also, just to soak it in. Once I finish this top section, I put my strip of cardboard on top of it. I take that back section down, then I'm going to overlap my cloth, I'm going to tape it down though. Alright, now I'm going to coat this, I don't have to go far, farther than this lip here, I'm just going to go up to this tape with fiberglass resin, just so that it strengthen up that lip. Right, got that taken care of. I'm going to let this sit overnight. Then I'll move to the next step. But I got a little section over here that I got to do. From here to there. I'm working on my lip now. As you can see, I put a piece of cardboard. Something like this here. I'm going to put this on this side. Because I got to build that part up. It's going to be like this. I just got to tape down, keep it in place. Then I take me some fiberglass filler and I just put it on this outer edge up to the cardboard. Wrap it around from the bottom just to strengthen it up. Glass filler applied. Just got to let it dry. Then I'll start shaping it up. Filler dry. Now I remove my mask and tape and cardboard and start shaping it up. coming together now. I just gotta feel all the imperfections. I'm gonna wipe some glaze and put it along here and 
somewhat smooth as that up here. Same way on this side. Also on the other corners. Just gonna use this dolphin glaze by you, Paul. Mix me some up. Glaze and put it down. Now before I start sanding this, I gotta drill a hole back out. I gotta drill this hole here back out. Also, I got one back here. Now I take some 180 and sand all the glaze and put it down smooth. I pretty much got to sand it down. I started thinking. I see a little, a few dings along this A pillar. I'm thinking about just wiping the skim coat of uh, glazing putty along this whole rail, then block it down. Then I could hit that when I start priming everything else. Also, this back section, I might as well go ahead and do the body work on it. I don't see no dings right now, but once I prime it, I should be able to see them. So, I'm gonna hit this with the DA. Scuff it up. Got to sand it. Now I'm finna get ready. I done wiped it down and blowed it off. Now I'm finna get ready to mask everything off. So I can start shooting my primer. Mask and taken care of. Now I mix up my epoxy primer. I'm gonna epoxy primer to repair it first. Then I'm gonna come back with some high bill primer after that. Here's the epoxy. My spray gun, it wasn't spraying right, but I just kept on going. I ain't feel like taking all the prime out and trying to figure out what was wrong with it. I just kept going. It took me a while to do because it was the spray pattern was off. Let me take it around to the other side. I put about three coats of epoxy on it. Let me mix up this high bill, then we'll go with that.
This is what it looked like after about, I guess about two to three hours after I finished spraying it. Now you can see the imperfections. Just got one there. Some pinholes here. Also along there. Let me take it to the other side. I see a slight ding on the other side. I don't think the camera going to pick it up, but I got a ding right here. Also, something going on right here. I'm going to wipe it, but I'm not going to wipe it tonight. I'm going to wait till in the morning. Make sure this primer fully dry because I don't want to wipe it. If I wipe it now, I could trap them solvents inside and they just mess up so I'm going to wait till in the morning and do my wiping but I think I'm going to go ahead and spray some guide coat on it since I know where them two spots at I'll mark it with a pencil or something maybe a marker yeah I got one here I'm going to mark them spots so once I spray the guide coat I think it's one now. Once I spray the guide coat, then it won't cover them areas up. I still know where they at. But I think that's about it on that. Up here. It's a little minor pinholes, but I'm not going to worry about that too tough. But I'm still going to. I'm still going to uh, sand this with 180. I'll probably put some guy color in it also. Guy coat time. It's the following day. I'm about to start blocking. I got my long block and some 180. Now this 150, but it'll work. Got my spots white. Got some one part glazing putty over here on the pinholes. Also up in here. Which all this gonna be covered up, but I'm gonna sand it anyway. Them block over half of the roof. Those areas there, those was high areas. I'm cutting down into the epoxy primer. But it's flat now. And them spots with little minor pinholes. I just put some one part glaze and put it on that. I'm gonna go back and hit that with the block. Also, before I start blocking this spot over here, I took some 80 grit on a small block and just knocked it down somewhat flat with the surface because it's a lot quicker than trying to start out with 180 now I'm gonna take some I'm gonna blow it off I'm gonna take some guide coat and just spread over this filler air so I can block it even with the rest of it Finished up with the blocking and sanding. I done blowed it off. Now I'm about to wipe it down once again and shoot my primer.
Stop.